Good afternoon. It is currently 3.18. I just came back from work and Target and I just got one of these headbands because I got I recently got a trim and so they gave me like more layers so now every time I tie up my hair my layers would just fall down and go in my face so I got these headbands and I put them on it looks it, it, it's gonna be some getting used to because I look like I have the biggest forehead known to man however welcome to another food vlog and I am so excited to make this well I always say this in every single video but I'm just excited to make videos I just posted a food vlog and here's another one because I love making these because my life revolves around food. This is not food, but I bought it at Target, so. We got some Everspring Free and Clear Laundry Detergent. Not actually getting to the food food. I could've gotten this at Trader Joe's too, but I forgot. Like, I always forget that we sell detergent, and I feel like a lot of people forget that too. Like, it's just random. And it's also on the bottom shelf, so I never really see it too. But I stopped by Target. Oh, I also got this at Target. Um, Salt Air, Salt Air, Laguna Volume Boost Thickening Shampoo. Ooh, cute. I mainly bought this because, look at the packaging. Like, okay, that's different. And the shampoo I currently use only sells it in this store that's like 30, 40 minutes away. So I'm like, I'm not gonna go there for some shampoo. So I'm just gonna buy this for now. So let me show you what I got at Trader Joe's and how much it was. Organic Herb Salad Mix. I've been replacing rice with salad. At first, I was like, I re I'd rather be having rice right now, but now I'm kind of enjoying it. Like I actually enjoy, I, I enjoy eating a good salad. I don't, I don't do anything crazy too. It's just lemon pepper, not lemon pepper, but like lemon juice and then cracked pepper and olive oil and Parmesan. Mm, the Parmesan is good. And I got organic broccoli. I got the head because it's cheaper. Spike. A couple cents, but you know. I'm not made of money, y'all. So I'm gonna go with the cheaper option. But I try to buy organic as much as I can. My last head of broccoli I bought was like infested, like terribly infested with bugs. But in that moment, I wanted broccoli so bad and I was already pissed off and I didn't want to throw away broccoli, like wasting money and wasting broccoli. So I did my best to wash them off. There was a lot. Like when I tell you it was infested, it was infested with bugs. I washed off as much as I could and then I ate it. I steamed them. You know what? People are giving... I don't understand why there's so many haters of steamed broccoli. Steamed broccoli is so good. Like, even give me a boiled broccoli. Also, growing up, Disney Channel made it seem like Brussels sprouts like taste like farts. I love Brussels sprouts. Like, I avoided Brussels sprouts most of my life because Disney Channel's like, Ew, Brussels sprouts! Mom, why do we have Brussels sprouts? And then I tried, and I'm like, dude, this is fire. This is fire. Like, why did you guys gatekeep Brussels sprouts for so long? Anyway, that's my ramble. Next one. Plain yogurt made with whole milk. Um, I would buy, like, just the big container, but most likely I would not finish it. So I'll just get the single one for now. Ooh, I think it's strawberry season, because look at these. <gasps> Oh my god, look at them. Look how big, fat, red, and juicy they are. Like, hello? She looks fabulous. I checked the mold. There's no mold, hopefully. But, oh my god, let's crack one open. Oh my god, can you see? <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. I love a good strawberry, man. I really do love a good strawberry. Like, I usually just get, like, the one-pound packs, but it just looked too good. I had to get the two-pounder. I had to do it. We got some organic Haas avocados. Um, I don't know why I never thought of putting avocados in the fridge to make them last longer. I'm gonna do that now because I always waste avocados because they're all like ripe. They ripen all at once and I don't want to eat all of it at once. So now I know to put some in the fridge and then keep like one out. So I don't waste food and money. Organic pasture raised eggs. Wonderful. I've, I've been on an egg kick. Ever since I discovered soft scrambled eggs, I, I'm going crazy, dude. Like fab. Oh, beautiful. 
When I was in Carmel, I went to like a Dutch breakfast place and then they asked me, well, I thought about, because we were there for breakfast and you know how they always ask you, how do you want your eggs? And I always panic because I don't really know many. Like I know hard boiled, I know sunny side up, over easy, scrambled, just like the basic stuff. I was like, wait, there's probably more. So then I went on my phone and looked at all the options and I saw soft scrambled and I was like, ooh, that sounds kind of good. And then I ordered it and it was the best scrambled egg I've ever had in my life. And I started making that at home now and it's just like, why, why? Why have I been eating overcooked eggs all my life? It's so good, it's so good. If you care, if you care, here what it, here's what it is. Get two eggs, crack it in a bowl, and then I whisk it really good, like really, really, really good. Like get it nice and, you know, coagulated. And then a little bit of cream. And I use a stainless steel pan and I heat it up so that, I try not to use nonstick because, you know, toxins. So I use stainless, stainless steel, but to make it nonstick, you have to heat it really, really hot. And you don't want to put your eggs in a super hot pan. So I heat it up so it's really hot and it passes what's it called, like the mercury. I don't know. Once it's super hot, I turn it off. I turn off the fire and then I leave it there until it cools down and it's like hot enough to cook an egg. Then I'll put butter in it. And if you, if you put butter in it and it immediately browns, like the pan's too hot, like you should have waited a little longer. But if you put the butter in there and it just melts nicely, perfect. And then you pour the egg in, like literally with no fire. This is how I do it, sorry. Like literally I cook the eggs over no fire, just the warm pan. And it's just enough heat for it to cook. And it's so good. It, even Dylan said it was the best egg he's ever had in his life. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, you, sh you should look into soft scrambled eggs. Maybe everyone knew about soft scrambled eggs and I just found out about it after 21 years of living, but it's okay. We're here now. Some organic potatoes. We got some wild Alaskan sockeye salmon fillets. I'm gonna marinate this and eat it tonight. I'm gonna force myself to eat it tonight because I have a terrible habit of buying fish because I like the idea of eating fish and I know it's healthy for you, but I don't really like wild salmon. So I avoid it as much as possible and I always throw it away because it always goes bad. And not only is it expensive, but like it's waste. It's a waste. Like why do I keep on doing that? So. I'm gonna force myself to eat it before it goes bad. So I'm gonna eat it tonight. I'm not gonna let it go any longer. Okay. Ooh, I forgot I have something frozen in here, so it's just kind of melting. Organic, super sweet cut corn. I just thought it'd be fun to just like whip it out and then like, you know, add it to my meals. I rarely buy frozen stuff, but I was like, why not dabble? Why not dabble into some frozen stuff? And then we got some all natural shaved beef steak. Fire, fire. I was worried that this would be like chewy, but no, it's actually really tender and I, and I love it. And it was what, 12, 31 for this much. And then last but not least, I got sweet apple chicken sausage. I am a sausage girl. Uh, I, I love me some sausage. Shoot, what can I say? What can I say? Like it's so fire. And a hot dog, oh my god. I could kill a hot dog. But chicken sausage, ooh. Ooh. And that grand total was like $49. So like, let's just say 50 bucks. So that was 50 bucks, which is, I was like, ooh, I just spent 50 bucks, bro. But then I remembered that I bought like a lot of organic stuff and a lot of like high quality stuff. So I guess it was worth it. And that was after my 20% discount. So thank God, thank God. Like, you know, I feel like I'm trapped at Trader Joe's because I will never be able to let go of that discount. Because that helped me a lot. 20%? It adds up because I go grocery shopping every week. It adds up. It adds up. So, thank God. I'm so blessed for that discount. But hey! I'm kind of really hungry right now, but I'm just gonna eat a couple of these strawberries before I go to the gym. Now that I'm home, I just want to stay home, but I know I should go to the gym. I should go to the gym. I will eat these strawberries and I will go to the gym. Going in. Mm. 
you see her red insides oh my god beautiful the lighting here is kind of fire mm. delicious hello i'm back it is the next day and i just got back from work and the gym so the girl's hungry my mom made pho gal last night so we we gonna eat that we gonna eat that also please don't come for me i will just say it now i don't eat my pho with hoisin sauce or sriracha um when it's chicken pho i just eat it plain like i love because i love the taste of the broth so much that i don't want to mess with it like i don't want to put hoisin sauce or sriracha or really anything else in it besides like maybe some pepper and green onions but if it's pho ba or like beef pho, then I will put I, I, I I'll put some hoisin and sriracha and, and lime and jalapenos. But my chicken pho is plain, and I love it so much. And you can't come for me. You can't come for me. Let's eat. And there she is in all of her glory. I kind of made myself a huge bowl, so I don't know if I'm gonna finish this. However, I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna eat her. Beasted. Beasted. I didn't think I would be able to do it, but I beasted that thing. Easy. I could eat something more, but I probably shouldn't, but I can eat more. I think I might have some kefir and maybe some strawberries as a little sweet treat. Fruit Loops. 